हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू आर डूइंग गुड एंड ऑल ऑफ यू हैव वॉच्ड ऑल द वीडियोस ऑफ चैप्टर वन इफ एनी वन ऑफ यू हैव एनी डाउट इन एनी मेथड और एनी कंसेप्ट प्लीज लेट मी नो सो वी कैन सॉल्व देम ओके सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद द चैप्टर टू विच नेम्ड शेप्स and angles in this video we are going to study objectives of this chapter so let's start before starting the chapter let me tell you one thing the chapter 1 which we have already completed is the part of numbers in mathematics and the second chapter that is shapes and angles it is a part of geometry in mathematics so what is geometry geo geo means earth and metry geometry metry means measurements so geometry is nothing but measurement of earth so you all know earth is so much big so how to measure earth so in such scenario we can measure the earth using lines curves rays and different shapes is it clear what is geometry and how to measure earth very good okay students let's start with the objectives of the chapter the topics which we are going to learn in this chapter so the first topic is point the basic part of any shape is a point then we will see line what is line and what is straight line and curved line after that we will learn about line segment then ray then the chapter title shape what is shape and in which we are going to study open and closed shape figure and further we classified closed shape figure in simple closed shape and complex closed shape okay after that angles what is angles different parts of angles examples of angles types of angles identifying the different angles and reading the watch and finally the chapter ends with why triangles are used in construction we will see each of the objective in detail in coming parts or in coming online sessions okay students this chapter is very interesting so please pay attention and if any one of you don't understand anything please message me or try to contact me we will come with the solution for that okay okay students let's start with the point so what is point as you all can see this four dots these dots are visible or not yes these four dots are nothing but point so point is the specific position on the surface so what is surface as you all are seeing this video on the mobile phone the screen of the mobile phone is nothing but a surface so the specific position on that surface is known as point it is a basic part of any shape or line okay so any lines or shapes are made up of these points if someone ask how so look carefully if i put this dot 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 together then it will create a line am i clear yes very good 
नेक्स्ट इज लाइन वॉट इज लाइन अ लाइन इज अ स्ट्रेट एंड एक्सटेंड्स इनफाइनाइटली विथ नो एंड पॉइंट्स इन बोथ डायरेक्शन सो वॉट डज इट मीन लेट्स सी द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ डेफिनेशन लाइन इज स्ट्रेट सो वी हैव मेक अ लाइन विच इज स्ट्रेट द सेकेंड पार्ट इज एक्सटेंड्स इनफाइनाइटली so what do you mean by the word infinite infinite means the one which do not ends okay as you can see we have drawn a line ab with two arrows on the both sides this arrow shows this line extends infinitely in both of this direction am i clear to you this line has no end that is this particular line has no end points it can extend up to infinity infinity means the one which has no ends okay very good so as you can see the arrow heads on the both sides indicate the line extend infinite the second point is it has no end points on the both side it extends up to infinity it has no specific length okay the line has no specific length why because it extends infinitely due to which we cannot draw line on the paper but we can represent it on a paper and the finally how to denote line line ab can be denoted as ab ba with two arrow heads okay simple as you have learned in the lower standard line can be a straight line or it can be a curved line as you can see the straight line we can represent like this and the curved line we can represent it like this i think you have studied this in the lower standards okay students next important topic is line segment so what is line segment line segment is nothing but part of a line if we take a line and from that if we take a particular part it is known as line segment or we can say that it is a segment of a line okay in simple word we can say that it is a segment of a line as we have seen in the line line has no end points but line segment has two end points let's see how if we draw a line m and we put two end points that is one is x and another is y so this two points that is these two end point represent a line segment x y is nothing but part of a line m so any line segment has specific length due to which we can draw this line segment on a paper and line segment can be denoted as line segment x y can be denoted as x y bar okay simple finally we have ray so what is ray it is a combination of line and line segment as we have already learned what is line line which has no end points 
and what is line segment a line segment which has two end points and the ray is ray start from one fixed point or you can say from one end point and extend infinitely in one direction as you can see pq the ray start from p and it extends infinitely in which direction in only one direction from that you can say that a ray has only one end point okay it has no specific length so here we also cannot draw it on a paper but we can represent it on a paper okay and finally a ray of pq can be denoted as pq on the top of that we have to show a arrow okay that is pq ray is it clear so till now we have seen what is point what is line what is line segment and what is ray i hope you have watched the video carefully if any of the concept is not clear please rewatch the video and if still it is not clear then message me or comment down below so i can make another video on the same topic okay students thank you